All right, did you know people are losing up to a business day of their life resolving a single customer service issue? And worse, people walk away from a third of customer service interactions empty-handed. So, according to new brand new research, people are open to AI agents to transform these bad experiences. Here to tell us all about it, we have Sanjanea Perlaker, VP of Product at Salesforce. Good morning. Thanks so much for taking time to talk with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Okay. What is an AI agent and how is this different from what we've heard of as a chat bot? You know, I think we're all familiar with the candidly frustrating experience of using a chat bot and rarely can it answer our questions, but AI agents are really the next evolution of chatbots, making them much more useful, bringing the latest and greatest generative AI technology on the back end to make a really, really good customer experience. Do you have any examples of, you know, how this would maybe help uh, someone with an AI agent to kind of make the situation a little better? You know, you mentioned those statistics, uh, you know, from Salesforce research that a third of folks that are spending all this time trying to get an answer about their common service questions are just giving up and not getting the answer that they want. And we're really seeing that AI agents can help a ton here. I mean, an example that comes to mind is with Saks. Saks is one of our early adopters of this agent technology, and they've deployed an AI agent on their website to process things like returns or processing a refund. These are just common questions that you want just handled as a consumer. You don't want to have to hop on the phone or go to the store. You want to do this in the comfort of your own home. And so those are the types of use cases that we're seeing right now. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of these will pop up if you're doing some online shopping and have some questions, that type of a thing. Well, many of us have mixed feelings about interacting with these chatbots. Some have gotten used to it, some still uncomfortable. How do you think um, people People are, are reacting and what's the future of it? It's totally understandable with the, that there's a little bit of a lack of trust in this technology because it's new, it's AI, it can feel scary, but there's a couple of things that I think will, will make that easier. I think one, just as the customer experience gets better and AI is embedded in so many different parts of our life, we'll just get more, more used to it. The same way that we're used to using a phone or having AI personalize a recommendation for us on you know, a music app or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think the second thing also is that at Salesforce, we guide our customers to design these experiences to introduce themselves, say, hey, you're talking to an agent and not try to fool people uh, into thinking they're talking to a human. So we're just going to get more and more used to these experiences in our daily lives. Yeah, it's, I guess we'll, we'll figure that out as we're doing our holiday shopping. I know a lot of people like to do that online. So I, is that the way we'll know that we're talking to an AI agent or a real person? They'll just let us know? They'll, they'll let you know, and you know what our, our recent Salesforce research is also showing is that Gen Z and Millennials are really leaning into this technology, and they're really more comfortable with how agents are going to be showing up in their everyday lives. What kind? Of, what businesses are you hearing are already using this? Yeah, so I mentioned Saks. Mm -hmm. Another example that comes to mind is Wiley, and Wiley provides textbooks to families and students. And so back to school season is their holiday shopping season. It's their <laughs> Super Bowl. And so um, what they've been able to do is use an AI agent from Salesforce to power that entire experience and handle that massive case volume. Mm -hmm. Because if you think holiday shopping is stressful, getting your books on time is even more stressful. And so Wiley really relies on an agent to do that well. Yeah, well, this has been fun finding out a little more about the AI uh, impact and the agent. So thanks so much for sharing this with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right.